You're watching local coverage you can count on. This is Wayne 15 News, first at five. This is your kind of weather. Boy, snow lovers, this is definitely your kind of weather. It has been snowing off and on since overnight, and it is going to continue for the next several hours. Glad you're joining us through all of this. I'm Tara Brantley. And I'm Dirk Rowley. Wayne 15 has team coverage with everything involving today's winter weather. And that includes road conditions, how to get your vehicle unstuck, and we even catch up with some folks to see how they're enjoying or not the snow. But we start with Chief Meteorologist Nicholas Ferreri. He is outside of the station in the thick of it with what we can expect tonight. Nicholas, how does it feel out there? Well, you can imagine, Tara and Dirk, uh, it feels pretty cold, but I'll tell you, not cold enough to wipe the smile off my face here because I know that it's only going to get more and more brutal as the night goes on. It's really balmy now in comparison to what it's going to feel like over the upcoming hours. And when you look at these feels like temperatures, I mean, they're nothing to sneeze, sneeze at. We have some spots already getting feels like temperatures below zero, and we could see these numbers dip as far as 10 below as we head through the night and get into the early morning. Now, the deal with the snow here, looking at radar, it is moving across a greater swath of the area, and this is going to be the story of the night. The snow becomes widespread across all of northeast Indiana and northwest Ohio. Take note of the darker blue colors that you see on the map. That's a big key to tonight's weather. We are going to see the heaviest, most rapidly falling snow of this snowstorm. The snow we picked up earlier on today, that was just the pre-show entertainment. Tonight, we could have snow rates anywhere from one to two inches per hour. That lasts from now through midnight. After midnight, the snow amounts rapidly taper off. Now, as far as what we're expecting from here on out, again, this is not the one or two inches of snow that has already fallen. This is what is still yet to come. Six to 10 inches for Fort Wayne and points to the south and east four to eight inches more for those areas to the north and west. I'll continue to time this out hour by hour and talk about another snow chance coming later in the week in the full forecast later on. Nicholas, thanks. Continuing our coverage into this winter blast, a winter weather travel watch has been issued for Allen County. City and state crews continue to work tonight in an effort to clear as much snow as possible. Wayne 15's Chris Darby joins us live now from the roads. Chris, explain to our viewers what a watch means. Yeah, I'll get that get to that in just one second, Tara, but this is Airport Expressway heading towards uh, back to Fort Wayne, so back towards when it turns into Paulding Road uh, beyond Fairfield. This is what this uh, most, really most main drags in Fort Wayne look like right now, a mix of that clear lanes in some spots, but really slick, this fresh snow that's blowing around, and then slush that's moved around. Uh, we have been talking to city, state, and county leaders today from the county. You mentioned that travel watch, a winter weather travel watch issued for Allen County, meaning conditions are threatening to the safety of the public. Right now, the director of Homeland Security for Allen County recommending only essential travel. From INDOT, who I talked to today, they really have the same concerns as the city. At this point is the blowing and drifting of the snow that is coming or really has arrived. I've been driving around all day today and the break that we had, somewhat of a break, slowdown of the snow this afternoon is done. Things are kind of decreasing rapidly as far as uh, the conditions out here. It's getting harder to see. Uh, traffic is slowing down far beyond speed limits at this point. It's really changed in the past few minutes. I've been out. I talked to the people at INDOT just a short time ago. It's a full, full call out there. 130 some trucks in Northeast Indiana out and about working. The city has crews working around the clock. They got early ready, ready early this morning to kind of prep the roads and now they're just trying to keep as many roads clear as possible. Once again, blowing and drifting a concern there basically covering roads as soon as they're cleaned up. The mayor's office asking employers to have employees work from home tomorrow, if possible, to keep cars off the road. So right now you're hearing that from the county, from the state, from the city. If you don't need to be on the roads, don't be on the roads. It will take 10 to 12 hours to get these main drags cleaned up once the snow is done falling, but we really have, as Nicholas said, several hours more to get through at this point. We're gonna continue driving along these city streets here in Fort Wayne just to uh, get an idea 
of what things look like. For now, reporting from this is Paulding on the south side of Fort Wayne. Chris Darby, Wayne 15 News. All right, Chris, thanks. Now, as the snow continues to move through, county officials throughout many counties are telling residents to take it slow on the roads. As you heard, uh, Chris say, Allen and now Adams counties, both under a watch. During a watch, only essential travel, such as to and from work or in emergency situations, is recommended. Those under the less cautious advisory status include Whitley, Wabash, Huntington, Grant, Wells, Jay, Kosciuszko, and DeKalb counties under an advisory routine travel or activities may be restricted in certain areas. Residents should use caution or avoid those areas. You can check out before you head out. Uh, find the map on Wayne.com. Of course, sometimes you just end up with your car stuck in the snow. So what do you do in that type of situation? Wayne 15 Sierra Tufts has some helpful tips and items you need to keep in your car. Have you ever heard of cats? No, not those guys. It's an acronym to get your car unstuck out of the snow. C, clear a path. A, add traction. T, tires. S, straighten your wheels. I'll show you how it all works. If your tires are stuck in the snow, you're first going to want to clear a path. It's helpful to have a shovel on hand. There are many ones available. Go to all your tires and scoop out the snow behind them. Next step is adding traction. It's helpful to have cat litter in your car for that. After adding traction, the next step is T for tires. You'll want to make sure that they're all clear. For example, this one has nothing in front of it either. Now that you're inside of the car, you're going to want to straighten your wheels. Now that you've accomplished cats, you should be able to rock your car back and forth out of the snow. However, if that doesn't work, coming up tonight at 6, I'll explain what to do if you remain stuck. Sierra Tufts, Wayne 15 News. Cats, remember that. The American Red Cross is on standby for those who may need assistance during this winter storm and get stuck. They are encouraging everyone to prepare for what is expected to be the biggest snowfall of the season. Now, here are a few safety tips for you to remember if you become stranded. Stay in your vehicle and wait for help. Run the engine occasionally to keep warm and leave the overhead light on when the engine is running so you can be seen. You can download the Red Cross emergency app for instant access to weather alerts for their coverage. Area. Nobody was hurt this morning after a bus, a bus was sideswiped on its way to Northside High School. The crash happened around 1050 this morning near the intersection of State Boulevard and Crescent Avenue. According to Fort Wayne Community Schools, a car slid into the bus. Seven students were on board at the time and were transferred to another bus. Again, no injuries reported. The city of Fort Wayne is asking for residents to be patient when it comes to garbage and recycling collection this week. Crews are expected to move slowly, of course, because of the bad weather. Alleys are not plowed by city crews. Therefore, it is much more difficult for trucks to maneuver in those tight areas. A reminder, don't forget that if you own a home or a building, you are in charge of clearing sidewalks of snow. The city says your sidewalk should be clear by 9 in the morning after the snow stops falling. But the city does not actually go out looking for snow on sidewalks. So if you see a snowy sidewalk, you can lodge a complaint and the city will investigate. Those responsible will get a letter and then have seven days to clear a path or get fined. Of course, people who benefit from the cleared sidewalks are the men and women with the United States Postal Service. It's very, very helpful when you have your steps cleared off. You know, the sidewalks are awesome, but as long as you can get to the mailbox clear, that's great. Last week, Wayne 15 caught up with a woman who's been delivering the mail for 16 years. The wardrobe includes a hat, headband, scarf, sweatshirt, jacket, double socks, boots, and several layers of long johns. Now, while the USPS asks you to keep those sidewalks clear of snow, as you can see, she's kind of walking through the yard. We're told they're trained to walk through yards when there is this much snow. After a few days, it gets packed down into a path. If you see steps in your yard, likely that is your mail carrier doing the walking. Now, if you encounter any weather related uh, moments, such as while you're out uh, that you can safely take a picture of or send us some video, we would love to see those. Head to Wayne.com or the Wayne News app and click the tab that says report it. And here's what's coming up on First at Five. I'm Elise Preston with a look at the nasty winter weather wreaking havoc across the country. Local coverage you can count on continues with Tara Brantley and Dirk Rowley. You're watching Wayne 15 News, first at five.
I don't know if this makes you feel better, but we're not the only ones getting a blast of winter today. It's affecting more than two thirds of Americans as a massive winter storm marches across the country. The weather system is dropping snow, ice, and some of the coldest temperatures in a decade. CBS's Elise Preston has the latest from New York. For the first time ever, the entire state of Texas is under a winter storm warning as a wicked storm dumps snow and ice over the deep south. The massive system left Seattle with the most snow it's seen in almost 40 years and is making driving dangerous in areas where people are not used to snow and ice. Our roads, no matter how much we salt them, are not designed for it. This man jumped to safety seconds before a vehicle slammed into a patrol car, already tending to another crash in Schulenburg, Texas. Conditions are also lousy in parts of Arkansas, Missouri, and Kentucky. Today and tomorrow, we're advising you to limit travel as much as possible. And Chicago is expecting up to a foot of snow. Just hunker down and do what we need to do and be safe. And then whatever happens, Mother Nature will do will do her thing. Air travel is also difficult. By midday, airlines canceled or delayed nearly 5,000 flights across the U.S. It's not just the snow and ice that's making it miserable for people across large sections of the country. It's also the bitter cold. The thermometer dropped to minus 38 degrees in Hibbing, Minnesota this morning. It was 26 below in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and minus 19 in La Crosse, Wisconsin. But in Houston, kids are taking delight in the rare weather. Forecasters say as this system moves out, another one is right behind it. The Midwest could see another half foot of snow Tuesday into Wednesday. Elise Preston, CBS News, New York. Okay, so the snow, it's starting to pick up in intensity here, and boy, is it going to keep on piling up. I have the latest numbers for you and your hour-by-hour -hour forecast talking about not just this round of snow, but another one that's to come later this week. Stay tuned. But for some people, means well, snow means fun, but some people say no. Our cameras head outside when your number one news at 5 returns. Local coverage you can count on continues with Tara Brantley and Dirk Rowley. You're watching Wayne 15 News, first at 5. What's your favorite part about it? Crashing. <laughs> Gotta love it. <laughs> that is one of the children. Wayne 15's Brianna Brownlee saw sledding while at Franke Park earlier today. Now, actually, it wasn't too busy earlier today. Yeah. She joins us now live from the sledding hill at Franke Park. Bri, any more people out there now? Dirk and Terry, yes, when we first arrived here a couple minutes ago, it was actually a few more families on the hill, but now it seems like it's starting to clear off. Now, earlier when we were here around noon, it was only about two families. Now, one mother told me it was nice to get the kids outside to enjoy the snow because everyone was getting cabin fever being stuck inside. Since her children attend private school, they were actually off today for President's Day. They were out here for about 30 to 45 minutes and wanted to stay longer. However, they said it was just too cold and they had to go home. And defrost. Now I spoke to three of the children, and all of them were pretty pumped for the significant snowfall. It's been good. We've been coming here quite a while, just sledding down these hills, practicing snowboarding. It's been fun and getting, yeah. <laughs> and of course, no one else is really here. Do you like that, or do you wish more people were out here? I I like being by myself because of COVID. And we're all um, just spread it out. So of course, it's a snow day. You're off from school today. How was it coming out here, being able to sled? Good. What was your favorite part of it? Sledding. Sledding. Out here sledding. How has it been so far? Good. What's your favorite part about it? Crushing. Now, we'll say I do kind of regret not taking them up on their offer and taking a ride down the hill, but maybe one day I'll get to do that. But reporting live from Frankie Park, Brianna Brownlee, Wayne 15 News. Now, from the live Doppler 15 Fury Weather Center, here's your latest forecast. Yeah, Bree, that's what I wanted to see. I want to see you go down that hill there. You still got time. Hey, there's a nice break here between now and your 6 o'clock report. Uh, today, we picked up an inch to two inches of snow so far. Of course, this is just the very beginning of what we're going to see with this snowstorm. Bluffton has seen two inches. Fort Wayne, almost two inches in spots. Defiance, 1.4. Huntington, 1.1. Columbia City, one inch there. Again, these are reports mainly coming in from the morning. Now, as we end the evening, we're adding on to these numbers. And this is the amount of snow still yet to fall. So, Take away those two inches that have fallen in spots. 
6 to 10 inches is what will come down between now and early tomorrow morning in Fort Wayne and points to the south and east. 4 to 8 inches still for spots north and west of the Summit City. So here are the main items we're tracking through the night. Blowing and drifting snow is going to be a big issue for us. This is a light, fine snow, easily blown around. That'll create the drifts on the roads. It'll also reduce visibility greatly if you have to head on out. And we're going to have rapidly, intensely falling snow around the area. Snow that will come down at a rate of 1 to 2 inches per hour at times. That's going to make visibility on the roads next to nothing at some points this evening. And all area roads across northeast Indiana and northwest Ohio will be impacted by this snowstorm. No one is missing out on the heavy snow tonight. So our travel forecast is red for tonight and tomorrow morning. We'll see things get slightly better tomorrow afternoon and evening and for Wednesday morning. We're going to have so many inches of snow, though, on the ground. Uh, yes, the main roads will be able to get in much better shape come tomorrow afternoon and evening than the rural spots and the neighborhoods, things like that. But roads will remain iffy for quite some time, even after the snow stops. You can see how the storm tracker radar is picking up on the snow right now. It is moving in this next round from south to north. Note the areas of heavy, of darker blue representing the heavier intensity of snowfall. Now we're seeing that in a good portion of the area. And this is going to be our main trend throughout the course of the evening. Between now and midnight, we're going to see these moments of the highest intensity snow. After midnight, it'll quickly taper off, lighten up. Our current temperature 14, but feeling like zero. Our winds are blowing in from the northeast at 13 miles per hour. Futurecast tonight is going to show the snow heavy throughout the evening. As we get past midnight, look how it breaks apart, tapers off, ends by the time we get to sunrise and just a little bit before. Morning time temperatures down in the single digits. Wind chills as you step out the door tomorrow as low as 10 below zero. Then we'll make our way through the day. It'll be mostly cloudy overall. Maybe, just maybe, a passing snow shower flurry still in the morning around sunrise or so. The rest of the day, none of that to worry about. The clouds, though, will be sticking around, and we will remain on the cold side of things the next couple days here. Tomorrow, the temperatures go like this. 13 at 8 in the morning at noon, 14 at 4 o'clock, 15, so not much of a change from morning till night. Our winds tomorrow from the northwest between 5 and 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow night, it's just clouds we have to deal with, and the same is true on Wednesday, but then we get to Thursday, and on Thursday, there is another wave of snow that heads in. However, it's not going to be anywhere near as impactful as what we see here tonight. This is what we're seeing. Early forecast totals for your 1 to 3 inches Thursday, Fort Wayne, east and south, a trace to an inch for areas to the northwest. Here's a look at the next 10 days and note the warm-up that comes. By Sunday, we're talking about a high of 37 and some rain and snow falling and highs steady in the 30s throughout next week. That's your latest forecast. The news continues after this. Local coverage you can count on continues with Tara Brantley and Dirk Rowley. You're watching Wayne 15 News, first at 5. For the first time since October, Indiana saw fewer than 1,000 new cases of coronavirus for a single day. The state health department today announcing 817 new cases. Nearly 650,000 Indiana residents have had the virus since the state's first case back on March 6th. 19 additional Hoosiers have died from COVID. The state's positivity rate also continues to drop. It is now just above 5%. In Allen County, 44 more residents have tested positive. The county's positivity rate, 7.5%. As we know, the weather impacting everything today, a blanket of white out there. Nicholas and the latest on the storm when we come back. Falling across all of northeast Indiana, northwest Ohio now, and the radar is pretty much going to be filled with snow all evening long, not really starting to taper off until after midnight. In the 10-day forecast, well, it's cold to start out, but things do warm as we get into the weekend. That's your forecast. We'll see you back at 6.